Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Dulex. If you're new around here, I like to build living spaces out of random things. And right now I'm rebuilding this travel trailer. I'm working on this space that's right above where I have this uh, storage compartment down here. I've always intended to put some sort of a cabinet here in this space, but I wanted to just make it a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna be building it with a timbre door, meaning that it's gonna be able to slide around using a bunch of little wood slats. And also since this is right next to the entrance, I want it to have a curve at the front of it so that you don't like hit your head while you're walking in because it's a really small area. And as you can see out there, the snow is starting to get a little bit ridiculous. So I'm gonna just take measurements of this space and then I'm gonna head back to my workshop and build this whole thing in my workshop, then just head back at the end and install it so I don't have to spend too much time out here. Well, now that I got all these slots cut up, I can actually try to explain what's going on with everything here. So what I'm doing is cutting these slots here so that I can put in the vertical pieces that are going to hold this whole cabinet together. And then this rounded slot here that I cut out with my router is for the track for the timbre. So I'm gonna be putting the timbre in here, just a bunch of little cutouts of wood that are going to act as a slide and go along this track and it's going to round around this area stop it around here and start around here so when i push it here it has somewhere to go back on this side hopefully that makes sense but i'm going to try to start cutting out all those slots now and get it ready so that i can put it in the track and try it out
Well, I finally got everything built and ready to head to the trailer. So I'm gonna load everything up to the truck right now. Uh, maybe not. trial and error I was finally able to get this cabinet installed it may just look like a regular storage cabinet but a lot of thought had to go into this to make it fit the specific little tiny space that this is sitting in and accommodate some very specific needs with these two cabinet doors these are pretty simple I just put the hinges up on the top so that they would swing upward and I also put in some struts and some pushed open locks so on the right side of these cabinets if you push in here then it pops it open and then you just put a little light pressure on it and then it opens up automatically on its own in this one there's some wires hanging out right now because i'm going to be putting in some lights underneath this cabinet later on but i just have them kind of sitting here right now so i'll be able to get to them when i'm ready to decide exactly how i'm going to do those lights these struts are just some regular basic cabinet door struts and i use some frameless full overlay european style hinges those cabinets weren't really anything too insane to build i mean they're literally just boxes with some specialized hardware but over here, this was the difficult thing for me because I had never built a timbre door before. I was able to just freehand the track on the inside and I was able to make it fairly replicatable. So for this cabinet, all you do is grab this wood handle that I put right here, pull it open, and then it opens up and it slides really well. I'm honestly extremely surprised for being able to make this slide and with three quarter inch material, I thought it was gonna be a little bit stiffer than that, but it's really smooth. I also was able to maintain a continuous grain pattern throughout the timbre, which was accomplished by using one piece of wood and making sure that I kept everything in order in the exact spot that it had to be. Being that I wasn't able to keep coming into the trailer to reference this, I'm really glad I did my measurements properly because this rounded corner was perfect for this space so that when you're coming in and out of the door, you're not gonna end up hitting yourself on the cabinet. These two cabinets can open up towards the ceiling easily with no problem without it being in the way or hitting you in the head or something like that. But this is a really limited area. This wall is right here, this is here, and then the door is right here. So you don't wanna come in, hit your head on a cabinet or something like that. If I pull it up, then it can hit me in the face or something like that. So the fact that we can just open it up like this works out great for this area. All right, that's all I got for you today. This cabinet came out great. If you wanna follow along with the rest of this build series, then make sure you subscribe so you can see the videos when they come out and check out the other stuff that I've already done in here if you haven't seen it yet. But that's all I got, so I'm out, later. Never at ease, I don't know a limit Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is I got a queen, she lit me the evening She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet You well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through its murder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes Cut throat from the low low, when no love goes Women buddy buddy like it's been 